to smile. Hello, YouTubers. This is Nigel and Eugenia. And we're here to talk about a relatively new development in Africa. Uh, we found this article and it's pretty fascinating and it may or may not have to do with 2012, but certainly it's just yet, it's just one more new thing that's going on in the world that wasn't going on before. So with that, I'm going to give you to Eugenia and uh, she's going to read you the article and give you the citation on it. Eugenia? Okay, well this came from LiveScience.com, which we are huge fans of that website and we recommend that everyone should check it out. This particular article is called Giant Crack in Africa Will Create a New Ocean by Live Science staff and it was posted on November 2nd, 2009 at about 5.23 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's they're talking about a 35 mile rift in the desert of Ethiopia that will in all likelihood become a new ocean. This has been confirmed by researchers. Uh, the crack which is about 20 feet wide in spots at its widest points opened in 2005 and uh, it was believed that it will spawn a new ocean eventually. That is a controversial view and prior to this the rift had not really been studied but now an international team of scientists uh, have reported that the rift is identical to what occurs in the bottom of oceans. Further indication that a sea is in the region's future. And the same type of rift activity is also slowly parting the Red Sea as well. Now, uh, newly gathered seismic data from 2005 uh, the researchers have reconstructed the event to show the rift tore open along its 35 mile length in just days. days. 35 miles in just days this happened. And a, a volcano at the northern end of the rift erupted first by the name of Dabahu, D-A-B-B-A-H-U. It first erupted, then magma pushed up through the middle of the rift area and began so-called unzipping the rift in both directions, which was explained by researchers at, in November of 2009, on the 2nd. This is huge news, and I have not been hearing a lot about this until we read about it on LiveScience.com. Yeah, well... We don't know if it's been in the nightly news or not, or CNN or any of the other sources available, because we simply just don't watch uh, nightly TV. We got tired of it. I mean, it's designed for a sixth grade education, and I don't know about y'all, but uh, I got out of sixth grade quite some time ago. And, and too many commercials. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you were uh, if you were a child of the '70s or a teenager of the '70s, you remember when uh, uh, cable TV was first introduced. You paid a monthly fee and you watched zero commercials. Now, if you have uh, cable TV, you're watching the same series. You know, I Love Lucy and stuff like that. That's 50, 40 years old. And you're watching commercials and you're paying it's like $60 a month. It's absolutely absurd. It's just another sign of the greed that's in the television industry or the movie industry or whatever. It's just... A, it's not worth it, so we simply turned it off a while back and uh, just say no. Yeah, just say no to nightly TV. Expand your mind. You know, read a good book. Rent a movie. Take a walk with somebody you love, but turn the boob tube off. It's designed to uh, make a goat out of you. That garbage will rot your mind. Absolutely. Now, continuing with this, this is our discussion on 2012. Uh, a giant crack in Africa, and in addition, where's the other papers that were with that? There's been, uh, well, there's earthquakes every single day. I belong to one of these uh, the, the governmental geological sites. Earthquakes continue, of course. Supposedly, uh, having 100 earthquakes a day is a normal thing. I don't know. I really don't know about that. All I know is this is just one more major change uh, that is taking place on our planet. Uh, it seems like these changes are occurring uh, 
with Evermore. We'll be back to you real soon with an, with uh, other interesting and important facts that you should know. Amen to that, sister. Peace. And remember, don't get scared. Be, be prepared. prepared.